So it's the 6th of July, and we tried to come out here on the 4th of July to get some pictures, but it was busy raining and stuff, so we couldn't get the, the video shot those days. So basically, the 4th of July, what we're talking about that date, the importance of it, it's kind of the midway point in the season for the corn. So if you plant your corn May the 1st, July is about 60 days after it was planted. And normally we say the height that we basically want it on is like roughly knee high. And knee high means that it's going to be ready to cut probably around the 25th of April. As you can see, this corn and a lot of other corn in the valley too is way, way taller than that, which means we're going to have an extremely good crop because if you look at the corn plants, pretty well all the growth of the plants so far as the tasseling and the size of the cob and the amount of kernels on the cob is already formed inside the plant. So it's just a question of it unfurling out to give you the height and the volume of corn we're going to have is going to be extremely high as well too. So, so basically the knee high um, theory behind it is that we're kind of the midway point. So, so basically now if I look at this corn and this is about a 2600 heat unit corn Pioneer 8581R which has done extremely well was planted about the 25th of April. So basically this corn should be ready to go about the first week of September. And a lot of other people's corn as well, 23, 2500 heat unit corns, they should be ready to go about that same time. So we've had a very warm spring, which makes the roots really big and really aggressive. Now we've had rain and then a couple days of sun, like today is sunny again, tomorrow is supposed to rain again. So the moisture is all the way down. If you think last year, we had almost no rain. One of my customers told me on his rain gauge, for the whole month of June last year, from May to June, he had a quarter inch of rain. This year he's had three and a half inches. So that's why our corn plants and our grass look so good as well too. The key thing now to recognize is we're halfway through the growing season. You got to start planning ahead now for how much corn size is going to be coming. So if you look at a plant like this with great big stalks, it's got a big root system. We've had ample rainfall. We're going to have a bumper bumper crop of corn coming. Our grass has never looked better. The corn is probably going to be the highest volume we've had in the last 15 or 20 years. Now it's super, super important to start planning out and figuring out which, uh, which bunkers you want to put the corn into. And then also you got to start looking at how you can save some corn one month's worth of feed to try and put into a separate bunker so that we can go on to, um, don't have to go right away on to uncured corn. We can feed cured corn for the first month after it comes in. So, so again, start the whole planning process. If you have to look at maybe getting some cement blocks for the bunkers to kind of make the bunkers bigger or to pour an extra cement slab or some extra pavement around. I'm saying you got 60 days. So from now till about the first week of September when we're going to be cutting the corn, we have 60 days to kind of get all the planning in place to try and figure out what we have to do. It's really, really important to start to figure out where your bunker space is at. Maybe you've got to round bale a bit more of some of the feed coming in without putting it in the bunker for silage because you're going to need that room for the corn crop. So, so again, start planning. Um, an old timer once told me if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So make sure you start looking at your corn crops, figure the volume you're going to have and start planning your bunker spaces. We're going to have a lot of feed coming.